Hi, my name is Ricky Vargas, and I'm a 2012 Giseo intern from Rutgers University. And for this past summer, I had the amazing opportunity of working with Professor Cliff Mass on analyzing synoptic patterns and variations of precipitation on the Cascade Mountains. Now, the idea started first with precipitation data taken from three weather stations across the western side and eastern side of the Cascade Mountains. And basically, an index was created by taking the average of precipitation across the western and eastern side and taking those differences as well. And it was sorted out on Excel from the dates running from November 1st of last year to March 1st of this year. And that was transferred to MATLAB, where I separated into three parameters. I had a positive index, which basically highlighted where there were, where was more precipitation across the western side of the mountain, near zero index, where there was even precipitation across both sides, and neg a negative index, where there was more precipitation on the eastern side of the mountain. And right now, I'm running the positive index dates, about 54 dates, and I'm running a composite right now of the 1,000 to 500 millibar thickness. And once I run this code, I get a map looking like this, which is, again, the 1,000 to 500 millibar thickness for the positive dates. And I did this for the 1,000 to 850 millibar thickness height, sea level pressure, as well as 850 and 500 millibar heights. The maps that I created here were using a two-day restriction. However, I also analyzed maps across all dates. But the maps that I generated from the all dates versus the two-day restriction came out very similar. So for our intensive purposes, we just used the two-day restriction. Working with Cliff Mass over the summer was definitely nothing short of amazing. And over the span of these two months, I was able to learn a lot, especially working with MATLAB, which to me was completely new. And I can say that after the summer, I'm definitely more comfortable working with MATLAB. And I, uh, for future study, I would hope, hope to continue working on this project and continue doing research on why there are differences in precipitation across the mountains.